Hi guys, welcome back for another video. It's good to be back in the house. It's good to be making these videos again. It's good to be interacting with you. Like in terms of looking up information on suits, it's just, it's just a passion. It's what I love doing. And today I think I've got a really juicy one for you guys again. Today we are going to be discussing suits for bigger guys that have a paunch stomach, that have a bigger belly, that have a bit of weight to the midriff. We often get the question from people, from people, shall I say, or shall I say subscribers, followers, fans of the brand, and they often want to know, how can I wear a suit in the best possible way if I'm a bigger guy? What's the best way to, to, to make the most of the suit and look good? Because often when you see suit companies, and even more to more when we post images, it tends to be a trimmer guy, it tends to be a guy with a cinched in waist, a nice trim, and it's a very, very well fitted suit, or shall I say, trim, slim, fitted suit. Now, would I advise that for a bigger guy? Not necessarily, not really. I think a suit that drapes and a suit that fits very well to your frame is the best move, no matter what your body type is. Now, for a bigger guy, I have these six tips. I have these six, I have these six tips, which I think if you implement them, you can execute your suit to perfection. Okay, so tip number one, what you want to do is have your button placement for the jacket at the widest part. So where your gut protrudes the most, that's exactly where you want your clothing to be. So if you're getting a bespoke suit made or a made to measure suit made, what you want to do is try and aim to have it right around that belly button part. Because that's where in most guys is where the natural waist is, it's where the, if you're, if you have got a larger stomach, that's where it's going to protrude the most. That's where it's going to protrude the most. So that's what you sort of want to have that coming together of the jacket right at that point. Now, if you're going to a shop and buying it off the rack, this is something to bear in mind. So what you need to do is try suits on, try different jackets on and see where the clothing comes up to on your, on your torso, on your body, on your, on your stomach. Now, the best one to go for will be the one that closes at that point. Now, the reason why you want to do this is, is because of the angles. It brings everything in from the top to the bottom into that one point. It sort of gives that illusion of a slimming effect and bringing everything together. Now, the last, now in addition to that, if you have the button placement too high, now all of a sudden you're going to have this bulge in the jacket skirt at the bottom. If you have it too low, you have the bulge again at the top and then the jacket just loses its shape. I would not advise a jacket that was too tight that, that cinched in at the waist, which is sort of that look that a lot of guys love to have. And there's nothing wrong with it if you have the physique. Now, if you have a larger midriff or you have a barrel shaped chest or you're quite straight through from shoulder through to your waist, it's not necessarily the best option. But what you do want to have is shape within your jacket. Having shape is definitely perfect. Being too tight is not. So what you want by having that button placed on that point, it gives the jacket that shape. Now, this leads perfectly into point number two. The jacket is point number two, and I've said it earlier, twice, three times, and I'm gonna say it again, because it's an important part. The jacket, you shouldn't be aiming for this hourglass shape, the shape that sort of cinches in in the middle and comes back out. I mean, you're gonna have a slight, you're gonna have a very, very, actually not even gonna have a slight, it's not really even gonna be slight, but the main thing is you shouldn't be aiming for this hourglass figure. What you should be aiming for hourglass figure. Do men even have hourglass figures? You know what I mean in terms of having a jacket waist coming in at the natural waist point. Now what you want your jacket to do is to drape beautifully. That's the best thing and there's typical examples. I see, I see guys all the time throughout the city that are much bigger than me, way bigger than me, like three times my size and the cut on their suit is cut to perfection. It just drapes and there is no hourglass shape, there is no cutting in here and there, but you can tell that this suit has been cut for this person, it sits perfectly and it drapes beautifully. And that's the aim you need to go for. Now, for me, when looking at a suit on a bigger guy, what we try to aim for is not too many rolls of fabric, not too much bunching, not too much, or not, or not too much pulling either from the tightness. What you want is it's just a simply drape over the physique. Now, at the end of the day, not everybody can be built like a Greek god. I'm not even saying I am, to be fair. However, everybody can look good in a suit, I believe. If, it's, if the tailor has done the job right, everybody can look good in a suit. 
Now, don't get me wrong, we've made our mistakes in the past when it comes to tailoring for bigger guys, and we've had to learn, because I think in the past, what we've tried to do is we've tried to do a one-size-fits-all and, and give pretty much every single client the more-to-more cinched-in cut, which sort of is the big, bold shoulders, the cinched-in waist, the wide lapels, and it, to, in all honesty, it just doesn't suit every single person, but there is a way to, to bring that look to every physique without having to apply every single element. And there you have it. So the second point is allow the suit to drape. Third point, okay, so the third point for me, if I'm cutting a suit for a bigger guy, I'm going to recommend, not cutting, cutting, cutting's not the way, I'm not the cutter, I'm the designer. Okay, if I'm designing a suit for a bigger guy, I would always recommend wider lapels. Now you don't necessarily have to go for this crazy wide lapels that I love to wear. Like, you, you love to see it on a more and more suit, however, I would always err on the side of wider than normal. What you want to do is sort of give a, what's the word you want to do? What's the word I'm, what's the way I want to describe this? What you don't want to do is have a bigger guy with slim lapels because then all of a sudden it highlights how big you are. That's not what you want to do. You want to have a uniform look within every single design element on the suit which translates well to your physique and your body type. Having a wider lapels will do that and won't draw attention to size or why is that guy squeezed into that suit or why is that suit too big or too small that suit looks perfect you want to sort of match it with your physique point three is wider lapels tip number four wear a waistcoat now a waistcoat is one of my favorite items of clothing i i, ne I won't say no to wear I'm, I'm, i won't say no to wearing one now what a waistcoat will do is it will help to hide the bulk it will help to give you that slimming effect, especially if you've gone for a dark color, like a dark navy, like what I'm wearing now, a dark gray, a charcoal. They will serve you very, very well. And as this video progresses, I'm going to give you a few more examples of, I'm going to give you a case study to be fair. I'm, I'm going to, I've, I've got someone in mind who I feel pulls off suits for a bigger guy quite well. A lot of people may look at this guy and think, eh, I'm not too so sure. I think when you really analyze and look at his look, he has a domineering, positive look about his... <laughs> I, don't know, I, was trying, I was freestyling. I was freestyling. No, but look, I have some examples to show you later on in the video, so keep watching. Point number five, this is going to be a controversial one, because when I'm out and about and I look around and I see a lot of guys, even when I'm conversing with clients and I'm given this option to go for, a lot of guys, when I say a lot, the majority of guys. So the majority of guys prefer not to go for this option. Point, point number five is to wear your trouser on the gut, not under the gut. So at the natural waist. Now, this is a, this is a, it's a tough one because a lot of guys, we, a lot, what we tend to do is we tend to put our trousers under the gut, on the hip bone. And if you have a bigger stomach, you tend to wrap it, wrap away, um, wrap a, a belt around it just to hold the trousers in and, and, and off we go. Now, personally, I feel like if you're trying to give a much more neater, um, sartorial, what's, what's the word? Um, cleaner look what you want to do is have it just on the stomach and it just gives you cleaner lines now in doing so i would also recommend another unpopular piece of advice which i i think looks amazing is pleats have a pleated trouser if you have a larger stomach wear the trouser on your stomach and add some pleats it'll give you more room in the trouser and it'll give you a cleaner look in my opinion that's my opinion you're free to do whatever you like Take the best bits and throw away, throw away the rest. We say it all the time. So, but that's my opinion. That's, that's what I would go with if, I, if it was me. To be fair, I'll probably wear pleats now. I'll probably should get some high-waisted trousers. Yeah, that was point number six, the pleats. Now, point number six is going to be, again, taken with a pinch of salt. Take, take it or leave it because I'm, I know... Pleats can be very polarizing. It's old school. It's what they used to wear back in the day. Oh, my granddad wore pleats. Well, look, pleats were there for a reason. Pleats look good on the right look, on the right person, on the right garment. So point number six is pleats. So to run it down from the top, in summary, point number one, you want your jacket to close at the widest part. Point number two, let the jacket drape, not be tight. Point number three, wide lapels. Point number four, Add a waistcoat. Point number five, trousers at the natural waist. Wear them higher. High-rise trousers. And point number six, 
add pleats. Now, when you add the pleats, this is, this is the caveat. Make sure you have a nice taper into the ankle. So don't just have pleats which just drop into your ankle and you just have wide leg trousers and you just, you'll look like, you're, I don't know, you're wearing a baggy suit. That's not what I'm asking you to do. I'm asking you to have a well cut suit with clean lines. Have a taper. Let this, let the, and when I say taper, for those that don't understand, for those that are not familiar with that terminology, what it means is you start wide at the top and let it come in narrower towards the ankle. It'll give a beautiful cut. I, I promise you, you'll look good. Now, case in point. Now, I, this is the thing. I haven't come across a bigger guy on TV yet, yet. I don't watch that much because the problem is I don't watch enough TV that has pulled off suits to perfection yet. And that doesn't mean they don't, they don't exist. It just means I don't watch enough TV. If you know someone and you recommend someone, put them in the comments below and I'll do a video on them. I'll, I'll have a look. I'll review it. Now, I think this person does a good job of looking good in a suit and having a presence about him. And this person is Chuck Rhodes Jr. from Billions. I know. I know it's unpopular. It's an unpopular opinion because most people don't think of Billions, oh Chuck Rose, he's what a great dresser, but listen, look at, just look, look when he walks into a room, right? There's presence. There's a poise around him. He stands straight. His suits, they're cut beautifully. Most of the time, most of the time. He tends to wear a three-piece suit. So like I said, waistcoat. He has wider lapels. He has a bit of padding in the shoulders to just give him a bit more domineering effect because that's part of his character, that's part of his role. But in all honesty, his suits, they look good. And, he, and, and, and to the point where I like it when he wears his overcoats and his suit and it, it looks good. It's an interesting one though, because when you think of, when you think of guys in suits, the connotations of success and, and power and, and, and money and, and all these things and, and being up in the higher echelons of, especially guys in these bold pinstripe suits that sort of have these high corporate jobs. And when you look at billions, right? Bobby Axelrod, the actual rich guy, the billionaire. What's he wear? He wears a hoodie and jeans most of the time, or an old t a t-shirt, a Metallica t-shirt. And it's interesting because it's a, it's, it, this is this is a little skew to the left, but this is a little off piece. But um, it's funny how, if you've noticed, Bobby Axelrod grew up poor. Now he's rich. Chuck Rhodes grew up rich. Now he's, it's not that he's poor, but he's not, he's not the rich guy versus relatively to, to Bobby's Axel Rod's billions. And it's just interesting the dynamics of how they had both of them dress. And that now you can't say Bobby Axel Rod isn't corporate. He is. He's, he's, come on. He's, 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 in a, he's a finance guy, but how he chooses to dress, it's almost as if it's an act of defiance against the institution, the powers that be, because I don't know, maybe he had a chip on his shoulder. He grew up in a certain, a certain way. So he's like, no, that's it. I'm not wearing suits. So it's interesting. It's just an interesting dynamic. Me, however, if I had a billion pounds tomorrow, I'll still wear my suits. I love them. That's just an observation of mine. But when you look at Chuck pinstripes, that's another thing that I didn't mention before. But if you notice, a lot of his suits and shirts and ties have stripes. Now, the reason why they have stripes, and when I say stripes, vertical stripes, because they also give a slimming effect. This is another tip, so add that on. Number seven, stripes. Add stripes to your look, whether it's on your shirt, tie, or actually, I wouldn't even go for this. I wouldn't say tie. I wouldn't, <laughs> nah, I definitely wouldn't say tie. Go for vertical stripes on your shirt or suit. Both even, in fact, if you can get them to compliment. And to be fair, look, I've gone to the liberty of trying to dress that Chuck Rose Jr. today, because look, if you look at it, I've got the, I've got the pinstripe on. Free piece, got the waistcoat. Stripes, stripes. We've got some dots on the, on the tire. I hope I've done a good job. Now, the only thing, now this, I say not the only thing, there's two things, and this is the reason why I say I haven't found a character that's a bigger guy that can pull it off to perfection because I still don't think Chuck Rhodes Jr. is perfect in his look. I feel that there's two things in particular that I'm not really a fan of. Now, one of the things is that he doesn't wear his trousers on his stomach. He wears them underneath. So he has his stomach just hang out. Now, for me, it's like he looks great in his suits until you see him walking around, standing there with the jacket open or whether he's got the jacket off and he's got the, the braces on and he's just, the, the guts just hanging. He's just, he looks messy for some reason. I don't, there's something about him that his shirt just looks untucked. It looks messy. I wouldn't have gone for that look. I would have put the trousers on the belly, given a bit of pleats and he would have looked 
so much more cleaner with it. The second thing that I'm not a fan of is he never wears a pocket square. I say never. If you can find when he does, then let, correct me and I'll take it back, but I've never seen it. The, the never should be, I've never seen him wear a pocket square. And I've seen him in a few suits, in a few seasons, a few episodes. But yeah, other than that, Chuck Rhodes Jr., check him out. If you're a bigger guy with a gut, check him out. Look at the cut. Fits him, fits him well on the shoulders, drapes his body. It's not too tight. It's not too loose most of the time. And he has a presence when he walks in. He stands up straight, which tells you this suit is cut very well for this guy. I rest my case. That's it. I'm done. I hope you enjoyed this video. I've got the light on my face. It's just, I'd, yeah, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this style review. If there's someone you want to see me do a review on, leave their name in the comments below. I'll be happy to take a look. There's a few more people I've got in mind, but if there's someone I haven't thought of, let me know and I'll check them out. As always, leave the best bits, throw away the rest. It is what it is, it's your choice. I'm just giving that advice. Whatever you want to do with it, it's your call. Now, continue to interact with us on our several social media streams. We are trying to do better from Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube, and Facebook. I mean, Facebook just about, but we're trying to do better. So please interact with us, leave comments, um, ask us questions, and we'll do our best to respond. And if you have any questions, send them into us at ask at mortomore.com. And as always, please, please, please help share these videos, help spread the word with more to more, help build the community, help us to grow. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share. We appreciate every single action you take within this community. Thank you very much. Until next time. The reason, oh, why, 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 oh, card four. Action. Wicked. <laughs> I'm gonna tap that. It's hot under these lights. The things I go through for you guys, oh. It's hot under the lights. All of the lights, all of the lights. Somewhere. <laughs>